Well, pleased with those low COVID-19 numbers, Minister of Health, the Honorable Renwood Wells, he told reporters just before Cabinet this morning that it's evident that health protocols are working. All I'll say is the numbers uh, so far are bearing out quite well in regards to adherence and compliance by the Bahamian people to the health protocols. Um, we have four persons hospitalized as of today, down from the 15 that was in hospital on the 1st of January. It's the point one percent of those who tested, point one percent, not one percent, point one percent tested positive with the rapid antigen test. Okay, it speaks to the strength of the health protocols. It speaks to the fact of us requiring that our RT-PCR test five days before you come, that shortened window. And so I think that the health protocol so far is bearing out um, the way we would like to see it. Now, Minister Wells confirming an increase in positive COVID-19 cases following the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, acknowledging that family gatherings are still a primary way of spreading the virus. You know, there's a 14-day incubation period for the COVID-19 virus. So as the Prime Minister would have said, and I would have intimated and reiterated, from before Thanksgiving, we were looking at what was going to take place during the Thanksgiving holiday and Black Friday, because we know that behemoths would go away and shop and come back. We saw a spike on day 14th, actually on day on day uh, 13th and 14th, we did have a spike of over 20 cases on those days, and it went right back down below 10. We then uh, took a view to Christmas, Boxing Day, um, the first of the year, and obviously the holidays that we just went through.